good morning and welcome back to the channel so i'm gonna keep working on the thanksgiving album but i did get a request to kind of do um some of the actual thought process in the video versus having everything cut and planned out before um mind you i already had all the way through page six recorded and scheduled before i got this comment so it might seem a little delayed. Uh, I am scheduling ahead as much as I can or recording ahead as much as I can um, because um, this past week has been very busy for us with Wayne having his surgery and then, you know, recuperating and such. So anyway, um, the only things that I have left that are pre-cut and measured are my inserts for the pockets and for the pages that we did yesterday, or rather the page we did yesterday. Um, so this is what I have left to do. I've only got the two pages left, but I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, um, which was kind of the general idea, uh, kind of to do that all on camera. But before I get to that point, I want to fill up these couple pockets here real quick. So I'm going to add a couple things to those pockets. Um, and like I said, this is kind of the last of what was like pre-cut. Uh, also, I did have a question on, um, someone had sent me a question, asked me what kind of glue I'm using. The glue that is in this bottle here is Fabri-Tac. Um, and it is, you know, it's just Fabri-Tac. I just put it in a pretty bottle. That's all. So I'm going to, I don't know why I disassembled this completely because you know what? I want to round the corners on this one. Actually, I think what I want to do, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put a, a pretty, pretty punch on it. So let's see here there we go yeah I want that so I can see it and it's just gonna sit right there in the corner punch that out and then I'm gonna punch this out. you know I think I might need this back let's see nope I still got that okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna trim just across the top right there to make it nice and smooth and you could use your ruler if you wanted to but this actually changes the matting for this I didn't think about that before I did it all right so there we go oh how cute is that okay I like that all right so, yeah, I don't think about things ahead of time. And had I not been recording right now, I probably would have just cut another envelope out. But because I'm recording, let me click off of this real quick. I um, want to lower that down. There we go. Anyway because I'm recording, I have a lot more of the, ah, uh, we'll make it work mentality. All right. All right. I'm gonna put this on the back here. Just like that. And that's what our pocket's going to look like. But it's going to be on the other side. Um, so this is our insert here. And you could also make it very plain. 
you could just put the card in there alone. Um, I think what I want to do with this mat, I'm trying to think while I'm gluing, and I think what I want to do with this mat is cut it down and then round the corn, the top corners, like just regular round, not fancy schmancy round. And then that doesn't go there. That goes there. Okay. I had to figure out where that was going. This is our insert into the pocket. So our insert has an insert. Cool, huh? But my goal with this album is to have lots of nooks and crannies to be able to write and add photos and such like that because we all like writing. Um, I probably the most out of anyone else in the family, but we all like and enjoy writing, which that actually might be my next project. Uh, I need to make a writing journal. Um, I mean, it can be a pretty journal. I have no problem with that, but I want to have it by my nightstand because along with this journey that I'm on, uh, you know, healthier lifestyle, I find that I'm writing a lot more. So I want to have something on my nightstand beside my bed. So I don't know how long these videos are going to be. I still want to try to maintain that, you know, 30 to 45 minute video because that seems to be more popular. Uh, I know a lot of people said they like the longer videos, but my analytics say that people like the shorter videos. Uh, my analytics, my analytics on YouTube are telling me that the 30 to 45 minute videos are more popular. Okay, so I'm actually going to go ahead and glue this down to that. And then our pocket itself is going to be done, and that is crooked. What did I do? Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, please come up. Oh my gosh. This is not going to come up. Oh, it's going to come up. Oh, it wasn't quite dry yet. Thank goodness. Yeah, because that was so wicked crooked. Let's try that again. Minus the crooked part. Excuse <clears throat> me. Okay. So, go down. There we go. That's better. Yay. See, it's not crooked anymore. Ooh. So let's glue this one down and this one and close it and squeeze it. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to have to alter these two pieces here slightly. Um, so, <clears throat> how do I want to do this? Actually, let's see. If I do that, and then take my pencil here and here and here and here we can how do I want to do this <clears throat> um cut these straight across I think and 
So that works, but I need it to go a little bit further yet. So what just happened? That was really weird. My camera did something funky. Like I looked up and my screen was frozen. All right, let's see, is that one perfect? Oh, that one's pretty perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to cheat. I take this piece because this one's already cut nice and pretty. And then I'm going to take this piece here. Nice and pretty. Oops. And then that way they're all even. And I'm gonna cut just a smidge off that top right here. Um no, stop. I'm just going to follow the line of the paper. I'm going to go just above the line of the paper, but I'm going to follow it as far as like straightness goes. Okay. And, oh, that's so pretty. Okay. I like that. All right. And then we're going to take this so we know that we have the same dimensions here. And it's not too terrible if it's slightly off because one's on the front, one's on the back. But you do kind of want them to generalize shape. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do with this is Let's see, I want to make it just a little bit shorter right there. Just like that. And then I'm going to cut the bottom off right here. And it should be quick aesthetic. All right. <clears throat> what do you think? All right. <clears throat> now that we have that done. I should think about this whole border thing before I do it. Really? My glue decided to go no. I saw the prettiest charms. Ever since I got these charms, I have been looking at other charms as well. Like I've been noticing more people have them and make them. And I found this maker. Uh, you guys probably know her because we share a lot of the same audience, but her name is Kateri. And oh my gosh, she makes the prettiest charms. I want one so bad. <clears throat> um, but yeah, they are really, really pretty. She doesn't have an Etsy shop. She sometimes sells on YouTube. For those of you who don't know, 
Uh, she sometimes sells on YouTube, and I will have some of her work coming in um, a little bit in a uh, in a few days to a week. I literally just bought some stuff yesterday, but I will probably do the same like shop share um, as another buyer that I got because it was at the same sale. It was just two different buyers or two different sellers rather, and um, I just got some handmade items there were a couple of things that I got that were like supplies that I could use in my creations and such I'm pretty excited all right so I'm gonna line this up with this piece down here okay actually I'm gonna flip it over and make sure that it's lined up on this side too and it is and what we could do too is we could put something right here. I don't know. I kind of like that though, like that. Am I crazy? Or I could just cut it straight across, but I kind of like it like that. I don't know why. Oh, I have no idea why. Oh, I did this the wrong way. Ooh, I can fix it though. So what we're gonna do is very loosely, we're not gonna crease this because I want it to lay flat. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fold it over. We're gonna cut right here. And we're gonna cut right here. There we go. Okay. Unfold it. And look at that. Who says you can't fix uh oohs? Uh oohs and whoopies. Whoopsies. If you really wanted to, you could get super creative and like put the, the bottom pieces from down there up there. Like that. Actually, that's kind of cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? I mean, it's a little crooked because it's not glued down, but that's cute. I think I'm just going to leave it like this, actually. But you could do that. Remember, don't crease it, though, unless you're going to put something like down the middle or through the middle rather because you don't want it to show on your paper that it's all creased up all right and then just kind of make sure your border of this back piece is kind of even throughout the sides all right and there you go oh it's so I like that. And then we've got our journaling card here. And you could put something here and here, but I actually chose not to because why are you not going down? I know you fit in there. Let me make sure that my where's my thing from? I don't know, but here's one. Make sure it's not glued on accident down there. It's not. So why are you not working? Oh, there it is. Okay. So anyway, you can have pencil marks on your card. So let's erase those. You can um, put something on the front or the inside of the pocket here. But I actually chose not to because this part is decorated. So... So that's nice and straight and then pick a pocket so autumn dreams good times together eat drink and be thankful uh, live each day I think I'm gonna put it in that one okay just like that 
And then we've got these two to do. Okay. And then this one is super cute. It's a little booklet. And you can make this as complex or simple as you want. Um, I'm actually doing a double mat on all of the pages. You could do a single mat, or you could just take this little card right here and go, and it's in your, it's in your book. It'd be super easy peasy. It does not have to be super complex. I know we get overwhelmed sometimes, and we need to make things so complicated, and it ends up overwhelming us. And ooh. So I bought a dragon fruit the other day at the grocery store and my husband cut it up. I've never had it before. I've never had dragon fruit. Oh, I like it. It's not like overly powerful sweet, but it's nice. Sorry, he just brought that to me and I was just like, ooh, yes, yes, num num. I like it. Like I said, I've never had it before. And with us, you know, I say us because whether my children and my husband like it or not, I've changed everyone's eating style because I'm not that mom who makes 17 dinners. I make one dinner. If you don't like it, don't eat. Um, but I have dragged them through this journey along with me. And so we're constantly trying new things. Um, and sometimes, you know, my kids get a little tired of certain proteins. I never in my wildest dream would ever think that a child would be tired of fish because for one, there's so many different varieties. But for two, I remember as a kid, I was just like, we didn't get fish because it was expensive. And it was just chicken. Chicken was so much cheaper. But uh, we eat a lot, a lot of seafood, chicken, and pork. The white meats, basically. Um, we still eat steak because it's my favorite protein. I just don't eat it a lot because it's very calorious, calorious, which is not a word for the record. Not that I know of. In English. Um, calorific? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, that's, it's my favorite protein by far is ribeye. Um, so, because I will eat me a nice, anytime we have steak, I always end up eating like at least a seven ounce steak. It's insane. Because it is just so, so yummy. But a nice, good, rare ribeye, and I am golden. Um, which is pretty lucky. Be, or I got pretty lucky, I guess, because nobody in the house really likes anything except for... Um, I think the most well done that anyone likes it is um, my youngest prefers pink which is a medium rare, or a medium rather, just a little bit of pink in there. Um, but she'll eat any of it. She'll eat it red, pink. She just won't eat it well done. If it's brown, like all the way, she won't eat it. Then again, none of us really will. We'll just be like, yeah, let's uh, try that again. All right, so this video might actually be just the inserts and I might have to start a new video for the next page because uh, I knew these inserts were going to be a little bit longer and detailed. Um, but yeah, you have to remember, this is just me gluing papers together. This isn't me planning anything out. Uh, planning everything out, But like I said, um, I didn't get that message until last night and I had already recorded everything up to page six. Um, so 
I'm not ignoring you, I promise. I just have things pre-recorded. <laughs> and today is, what is today? Today is Sunday, I believe. And this video that I'm recording right now is going to go up Wednesday. So eventually you'll see this and then you'll be like, oh, she wasn't ignoring me. No, I was not. I promise. But um, Wayne goes back to work Tuesday. He has his post-op appointment tomorrow. And um, he goes back to work Tuesday. He's got an appointment with the, um, the military doctor Tuesday as well. And we'll find out, you know, what happens as far as his, you know, career. Because he's in the Navy, for anybody who doesn't know that. Uh, my husband is 15 years Navy. And um, he just had surgery on his eardrum. He had a hole in his left ear. And they had to go in and fix it. And he's doing okay. He is, um, today is the first day that he has not taken any pain medication at all. Um, and he seems to be doing fine. I don't even think he's taken any ibuprofen or Motrin or anything like that, honestly. Um, and he's just, he's doing really good. Um... It's funny though because he's a gamer. We all are. And um, so he's got a headset for his computer, you know, just like we all do. And he went to put it on and it's, it's a full headset. It's not earbuds or anything like that. It's a full headset. So he went to put it on and um, he had it on the right ear and the other part was like behind his head. And I'm like, that does not look comfortable at all. And he flipped it to the front of his face. He's like, would you rather be like this? Like, I don't really care as long as it's comfortable for you. I went in this morning. Well, it was this afternoon, really. And he had, uh, he had no headset on at all. <laughs> it's like, ah, opted out of the headset, I see. All right. There's always time to be thankful. Good times together. Let's put it there. All right, so we've got this one, which is cherish these moments on this side. And then we've got our autumn days, our autumn dreams rather, and live each day here. And then good times together. And there's always time to be thankful, but I love this little book. Isn't it just the cutest thing? And I know this paper looks bright, freaking orange yellow to you guys. It is not. It is more like a nice, cool cream tangerine, maybe. Um, it is not this neon orange it's pulling up to be, which I haven't figured out why my, um, <clears throat> I don't know why my thing's doing that. My coloration is very strange on my computer. Most colors, it picks up just fine. It's these like, I don't know, yellows and oranges, sometimes greens even do it. Why did I do that? Let's pull everything apart. Okay. And also too, this would be a super easy to uh, turn into like a vintage style book because all you would really have to do is just ink around all the edges. All right. I don't think I matted the back piece here. Um, I don't think I did. And the reason that I am wondering if I did, because if I didn't, if I did not mat the back piece, then I can just go ahead and glue the pocket shut. But I can wait because it's not going to hurt anything to wait. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, that's way crooked. Okay, there we go. Let's straighten that up. Woohoo! All right, there we go. 
That is better. All right. And then this guy here. Is that right? Yeah. So if you notice this particular paper, I tried to use up every bit of scrap on this paper. Um, but I've tried to use up all of the scraps on all the paper. That way I'm not left with a bunch of scraps that I have no idea what to do with. But instead, I have just a tiny bit of scraps that I can either make into something or I won't feel guilty about throwing them away. Like if they're tiny scraps um, like this, then I'm just going to toss them at the end. Especially if it's cardstock. Let's figure out which way this goes. Could do it that way or this way, really. Mix it up. It's actually kind of cool. I like that. Whee! And kind of center that up. Make sure the border is nice and even all the way around. And make sure your paper's straight. I'm lined up here and here. Uh, yep. Nope. That goes there. Nope. That doesn't go there. That one goes there. So that one goes here. So I did have a border on, or a mat on the inside. Whee. I think I already answered this question, but somebody asked me what kind of glue I use for this. It's fabric tech I'm pretty sure I already answered it though. Um, also too, if you really wanted to, you could, because it's the same paper, you could pull this up. I think I'm going to do that. I'll show you guys. So I'm going to pull this up before it dries. All right. And I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to glue it on the back here. Like that. That way my card on the inside doesn't get stuck. Okay. Well now it's stuck to here. Okay. So I'm going to glue this part here. And then this part here. Then like that. And then I'm going to re-glue. Come on, grab. There you go. I'm going to re-glue this because I ripped it up. That way, the card doesn't get stuck in there. I'm just put it in, and hopefully not. There we go. Look at that. And it can go either way because it's. I believe this is square. All right. I saw a pencil mark. Where did you go? Anyway. All right, um, yeah, this is square. Okay. All right, so let's figure out what we're gonna do for that next page while I'm sitting here finishing up these inserts. So I can try to at least have a plan I mean, I won't have anything cut out or anything, but hopefully I can have a plan as to what the heck I'm doing. Because um, I know I want to keep it simple. 
because this page is very complex. This page that we're working on here, these inserts for. Um, so I'm thinking maybe just have a couple simple pockets. I think that would be nice. Because who doesn't love a pocket, right? Isn't that cute? All right, and this goes in here like that, and then this one ooh, goes down here. But we're gonna put these up here first. And you can also put magnets on these if you really wanted to. I'm not going to. Uh, only because this is going to be very bulky as it is. Because I didn't gusset each of the pages or each of the flip outs. I only gusseted the one. So I don't want to add more bulk than I'm already adding with all the layers of paper. Okay, and then this one is going to go right there, just like that. And you could even just do part of it and let it do that. That's one way you could keep it closed, like that. Let's do that. All right, so I'm just going to put glue on the bottom half of this. And try to center this the best I can. Okay. All right, and then I'm actually not going to put this underneath it until this is completely dry. Okay, and this is our last pocket our last um, insert and it goes right there and then once that's done you can actually just kind of put it right there put it right in the middle just like that but that is it and that is why we gusseted my cards moved you see how thick this is now because we have this insert, this insert, and this insert, and you fold it all up, and let's see, see? So that's why you need that gusset right there. And that's also why having a half an inch gusset right here is a good idea. Let's see. And then this side here, I think, think, like I said, we're going to keep it pretty simple. I don't know yet. Maybe a belly band, maybe a couple pockets. I'm, I'm just not sure what I want to do here, but I do know I want to keep it fairly flat. So we'll work on that tomorrow and um, hopefully we can get this done by the end of the week and I will have a full flip through for you guys. But remember, this is not for sale. This is my personal, like for my family book. And then once we have some stuff in here, um, like we haven't started even planning our Thanksgiving dinner yet. Uh, it's still a couple weeks out, but our anniversary will probably be in here as well because our, our wedding anniversary um, is 15 years. No, 16 years. Yeah, 15 years. Sorry. Uh, 15 years is November 22nd. 
So um, pretty excited about that. But that'll probably be in here too, just different lovey-dovey stuff like that um, because of when it falls. Also, we will need to create all of our inserts for our pockets. Now that's only four, but we, we still need to do that. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video now that the inserts for page six is done, or they are done rather. Um, we can work on page seven and page eight, possibly page eight tomorrow. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making inserts with you guys and I enjoyed this process. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye guys.